weddings. You know when you go to a wedding, you're all on edge, everyone's nervous, you know? You're going into the reception hall, you start holding the door open for somebody, you start doing all that nervous laughter, you know? After you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're doing the same back to you. No, after you. <laughs> <laughs> We're both standing there laughing at a fucking door. <laughs> but you see that little laugh, that's acceptable. You can't do too much, otherwise it looks fucking mental. You know, if you're in a restaurant, you know, and you're at the table, you don't want the waiter to arrive at your table and go, ah, is everything OK with your meal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're in hospital waiting for major surgery, you want the surgeon to arrive at your bedside and go, ah, hello, I've been performing your gallbladder operation today, so nothing to worry about there, all right? <laughs> that little laugh, that's acceptable. What you don't want is some bloke to arrive at your bedside and go, ah, hello. Your gallbladder's coming out today. shit you up, I think. <laughs> it's like you can't over-agree with somebody. That looks mental as well. You know, if, <laughs> if somebody says, doesn't the bride look lovely? You can't go, ah, yes! Fan-fucking-tastic! <laughs> <laughs> See all the relatives lurching into the reception hall? Have you seen that lot? It's like night of the living dead, isn't it? All your relatives lurching into the hall, you know? <laughs> Some of them only hanging on because they know there's fucking free food going. <laughs> Scrounging fuckers. <laughs> you sit around the tables, everyone puts on airs and graces. You know, your auntie becomes the fucking Duchess of Kent. She sat at the table. Oh, would you live near cash on? Oh, look, they're serving lunch on. Gives it away when she starts eating, though, doesn't she? Stuffing food in the gob so far, she's got shrapnel wounds around her face. <laughs> There's your nan on the other side of the table. She's eating with her mouth open. You can see it all fucking going round. <laughs> it's like watching a fucking service wash, you know? <laughs> you know, you're following two tomatoes going round going, Help us! Please! Help us! <laughs> <laughs> and you know... The bride and groom, oh, they, halfway through the evening, the bride and groom start wandering around the tables, don't they? What's that? They become like waiters. They arrive at your table and go, ah, is everything all right? Is everything all right? What do they expect us to say? No, the suit's cold. Take it back to the fucking kitchen. <laughs> we well, don't get the widow going around it. Awake at a funeral, do you? You know, walking around the tables. Are you miserable? Good. <laughs> is everybody fucked off? Fantastic. <laughs> Have you noticed how knackered they are when they get to your table right at the back of the reception hall, the bride and groom? Because every table said the same thing. Oh, this must be the bestest day of your life. It was up until table 30, now I just want to fucking shoot me, sir. <laughs> you always get that wanker on table 40, you know? Virgin White! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Then you've got the highlight of the evening, the best man's speech. Oh, everyone loves a best man's speech. And I feel sorry for these best men because they've been practising for months and months, but they always forget one thing, microphone technique. As soon as they stand up, they fuck it up. As soon as they stand up... It's working, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Great. Now, as you know, me and Darren, we've known each other since we were all oh, fucking what? That, that, that. to have Nan with us, so a big wave to Nan, everyone. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> you always get that little toddler, you know, wander out to the dance floor during the speeches, you know, about 18-month-old kid. You'll see him just wander out like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, his mum comes out all embarrassed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> comes out doing exactly the same thing, pissed out of his head, you know? <laughs> that same woman comes out, you know? I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah! Fuck you! <laughs> Such a relief, isn't it, when the speeches are over and the disco starts, you know? Your nan's up, she's got terrible arthritis, but she looks fucking brilliant during the techno numbers. 